it's really easy. Look, it's just a piece of tin foil. We put a pin brick in it, and then all the sunlight comes through here and then just projects down onto that white piece of paper. I wanna, I wanna see the, I wanna feel the hush. I hope to see the, the shadows and the, the way the light plays around being, uh, being obscured by the moon. And um, I, I'm glad to be a part of something like this that happens fairly regularly in nature, but doesn't happen in Indianapolis. So I'm excited for that opportunity. Just don't touch it and just kind of lean over and look. And that one's a lot easier to look through. Cool? Not, you know, it's something that you had to do it and it's like uh, a good memory. And I love the sky and I love the mountain. So we go up in the mountain and then we just sit around and then look up the sky. Solar eclipse uh, presented by the new university <laughs> as we have all these wonderful events going. So in the recent earthquakes, okay, the recent earthquakes, and the floods, yes, and everything else, that all intertwine within a week's time. I'm just kind of curious if the solar eclipse has something to do with it, of how the whole, you know, little gravitational pull. Yeah. You think we're all going to disappear here? No, we're not going to disappear. <laughs> If we do disappear, I hope we go to good alien abduction, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Pick up a complimentary pair of our Eclipse eyewear and the greatest spectacles so that you can enjoy today's event safely. It's spectacles. Totality. We're taking a part of our experience. We're taking a part of our experience.